What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Captain's Thrasher new disc from Discraft. This is supposed to be the more overstable version of the Thrasher. Numbers on the bad boy coming in at 12502. This is the first run ESP swirl from Flight Factory Discs. Guys, if you haven't gotten your disc from Flight Factory yet, what are you doing? Go get your pre-orders in at flightfactorydisc.com for the new MVP drop that's gonna be coming out soon. We'll see you over there. Uh, without further ado, we're going to give this thing a few tosses out there, see how she's flying. Now, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, you guys, and I do want to apologize for that. I meant to make this video last week, came out here and recorded it, and for some reason my microphones didn't work. So, scrap that video. Here we are out here doing it again. So, we're going to try it again. We're going to throw this thing as flat as we can on the first throw and just see how it's flying. That was Heiser pretty bad throw there let's go ahead and redo that okay so real quick profile on the disc it does have a slight bit of dome I'm pretty I'm used to like the thrasher being a bit more flat so there's the difference there it does have like a little nose bead of some sort right here um, it's not very noticeable in the hand but it is worth mentioning that there is a slight little nose bead there um, also this thing kind of feels more like an 11 speed I've always thought that about the thrasher even though they call it a 12 speed, it just feels small in the hands compared to other 12 speed drivers. So the disc that I bag currently that I think is similar to the Captain Thrasher is the Latitude 64 Grace. I think they have similar dome as well as a similar flight. Yeah, let's just throw both of these out there and get to it. We'll throw the Captain Thrasher first and then we'll, I'll show you how it compares to the Grace. That was a lot of hyzer. No flip up on there and a good little skip. I don't know why I'm throwing a lot of hyzer today. When I did this video uh, last week, I didn't have that issue. So we'll see if we can dial it in here a little bit. Um, we'll throw the grace on hyzer as well though. Maybe a slight more flip up on the grace. I didn't give that the height at all to get down and skip. Yeah, we got to throw this a little better. So I think this disc for us normal Amateur players throw about 300 to 350. Uh, I think this is going to be a good option for your overstable driver. I don't think you really need much, anything more overstable than this, just for us lower arm speed players. Now, if you've got a higher arm speed, you might want something a little bit more overstable for your really beefy slot. But I use the Grace as my overstable slot and drivers, and I, I don't really find a need to have anything more overstable than that. I'm just not gonna push the distance that I would like. If I need anything more overstable than the Grace, I'll just throw like my Scepter or my Firebird or something like that. So I think this could be a really good option for somebody's driver slot being an overstable driver. It's gonna be really reliable in the headwinds. It's reliably overstable and uh, still pushes some distance though. It's not super too overstable like something like a Halo Destroyer or something where it goes 100 feet and then starts fading. This thing's actually gonna be able to push a little bit straight and then have a good fade. And you'll even be able to throw it into some headwind. So let's try to get a better, flatter throw on it real quick and uh, see if we can get any turn out of this thing. All right, let's try to throw these as flat as we can. See, that's pretty overstable there. I feel like that was a little flatter. It might've been a little hyzer but I felt like it was a little bit flatter and it still kind of faded right away out the hand. Maybe it is a little bit more overstable than the grace. See, there's the grace on the flat throw and it definitely pushed a bit more. You could definitely see that glide on the grace. Now that grace is a little bit more used. It's not like it's a beat in grace or anything like that. I would say it's pretty, pretty fairly new. So maybe I was wrong on that. Maybe the captain's thrasher is more overstable than the grace we're gonna try to put a little bit of turn on this thing it's not my best throw as you guys probably know i like to throw a lot of hyzer for some reason it's hard for me to throw anhyzers we're gonna to try to get a couple of good throws with this thing maybe throw maybe throw maybe throw a forehand with it as well see if we can get any turn out of that but yeah this thing is kind of surprising me it's a bit more overstable than i than i thought um even though i've come out here and thrown it already it seems to be more overstable today. I don't know if I'm just weak today or what, but yeah, it's seeming to be pretty overstable today. So we're gonna try to put this thing on some turn and see how we do. 
A little bit of turn there. Oh my gosh. That just skipped right under that basket over there. Wouldn't that have been crazy if it skipped in and aced? <laughs> that would have been insane. But yeah, guys, definitely got a little bit of turn out of it there. Um, wasn't the worst Anheuser shot for me. Came out nice and smooth, but uh, wish we could have got a little bit more distance on it. But either way, I'm not too upset with that. It's about 300 feet on an Anheuser shot. So I'll admit when I'm uh, throwing down at this field right here, I'm, I'm not really aiming for that basket that I almost skipped into. I'm actually aiming a bit more to the open field to the right of the basket. And uh, the disc fought back hard. I mean, I put it on a little turn, not a lot, not a whole lot of power again, but we definitely put it on some Anheuser. And I mean, it barely turned. It fought out almost instantly and went left and even got a skip on it. This uh, Captain's Thrasher is pretty overstable. I think it's more overstable than any other driver I've got in my bag. I throw a lot of flippy drivers. As you guys may know, I really like the Fission Wave and the Strive is a good one. Uh, and then the Grace is my most overstable, really, uh, distance driver that I throw. So this thing's pretty beefy. We're going to throw it on the forehand, see if we can't get a little Anheuser chop on it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, look at that. And skip. Oh, no, I threw that a little bit low, so didn't get the skip on the end. But that thing fought out pretty hard, and I feel like I really chopped over on that one. It seems pretty glidey though, even though it's really weird to say, but it's overstable, but it also seems pretty glidey. Similar to the Grace, that's probably why I was comparing it to the Grace at first. I think the Grace is a little bit less overstable, even though it is overstable, has a nice glide. I think if you throw um, 400 foot average, 380, 400 foot average, this thing's gonna absolutely bomb for you. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really wanted to come out here and make this video last week, but we were able to get out here today before the rain to make this for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, please smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button to keep up with the future giveaways and things that we do. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see Rodney throw this disc. We could definitely make it happen, make a little short out of this thing. I'm pretty sure Rodney would bomb this, this Captain's Thrasher. So anyways, let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys would like to see, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Peace.